What do you guys think about mine? Mmm. Oh. I don't taste anything. <laughs> <laughs> you, don't really you don't taste anything? Get out. I love it. You don't deserve this ice cream. No, like, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Devin and I are going to be working with Adrian from Wanderlust Creamery to make our own ice cream flavors. Ooh. Tomorrow, Devin and I are actually going to create our ice creams. And then the next day, after our ice creams have had time to freeze and set, we are going to be offering them up to our colleagues at BuzzFeed, and they're going to let us know who did the best job. At the end of the day, we're making ice cream, though, so like... So we're both winners. Everyone wins, yeah. I'm Adrian Borlongan. I'm one of the co-founders of Wanderlust Creamery, and we're here at our original location in Tarzana. Hey, Adrian! Hi! Hi. Nice Devin, to meet you. Nice, to meet you. nice to meet you. So let's make some ice cream. Yep. Jen wanted us to make an ice cream flavor that's like reflective of where we came from. In Sunsun from Georgia, I'm making a sweet tea ice cream. What is sweet tea? And it's just iced tea, but it's boiled with sugar, mm -hmm. so it's naturally sweet, and all you do is add ice. Wow, that sounds delicious. It is delicious. I kind of think that my recipe is pretty simple, but I kind of like that. Keep okay, it simple, yeah. keep it sweet. Yeah. Okay. How are you? I'm gonna be making ice cream that's uh, ricotta cheese flavored. Uh, and that's because growing up, uh, ricotta pie, I might be saying it wrong, but I used to have like ricotta pie, which is basically just like a cheese pie, and it's really delicious. A lot of Italian grandmas in America like to make it, mm -hmm. and it's just like a very like sweet, kind of like a cheesecake texture pie, and I feel like it would translate very well to an ice cream. You look excited about that ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I love anything like creamy, cheesy. I love mascarpone ice cream. So at Wanderlust, you won't find your basic vanilla, chocolate, strawberry flavors. All of our flavors are based on travel. What I love most about making ice cream is that the possibilities are endless. You'll never run out of ideas. You'll never run out of creations. And I just like putting a smile on people's faces. So I know when making ice cream, you have to like start with some type of base. Yeah, so here at Wanderlust we have two types of bases. We have a custard base, which has egg yolks, and then an eggless base, which is like a Philadelphia style, no eggs. Interesting. What do you mean Philadelphia style? Like so, in Philadelphia they don't make eggs in their ice cream? So Benjamin Franklin used to make his own ice cream and he would use no eggs. And that's why it's called Philadelphia style. Oh, weird, that's cool. Philly what style. a visionary. Yeah. Wow, what didn't he do, really? <laughs> he invented spectacles, he had sex parties, he Did made he? ice cream. Yeah, he had sex parties. Yeah, he had sex parties. Mm -hmm. oh, in fact, that's what this video is about. Uh, Welcome to the ice cream. Okay. <laughs> Some unexpected challenges when it comes to crafting ice cream flavors probably be texture. Ice cream is like a complete science, you gotta find the right balance. So in your case, for a tea flavor, tea's kind of bitter, so it would be really nicely balanced with a custard. Mm -hmm. And then, Jen, for your flavor, I think that would be best with the Philly style. Because ricotta is very a mild cheese, and you don't want any of the egg yolk competing with that. Adrian is referred to ice cream as a science. I'm thinking about this much more emotionally. Anything that is scientific in the cooking world, I tend to fail at. Whereas anything that is artistic, and emotional, like a good stew. I, uh, I, I, you excel. I excel at that. Yeah. So right now we're gonna make a fig leaf ice cream. And so I'm gonna just show you the basic steps of how to infuse an ice cream. So for your purpose, infusing tea, we're infusing fig leaves. And then also in this step, we're gonna homogenize, which will be useful for you to homogenize your, your oh, cool. cheese with all the other dairy. So we're gonna add our fig leaves, and then once this is infused, we're gonna add our base. And this is actually 14% butterfat. Butterfat refers to the creaminess. Mm -hmm. it smells so good. Yeah, it already smells really good. A secret of ours is you can actually heat your base in a microwave. <laughs> But in a microwave, only the water in the base is heated. So you're not actually heating any of the protein. Oh my god, that's amazing. Yeah, we love microwaves. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. It'll be a lot more fire safe. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna heat that to 185 Fahrenheit or mm -hmm. 85 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. And then I would do something called aging it, which is leave it in the fridge mm -hmm. for at least six hours 
maybe 24 hours max, and it allows some of the flavors to meld and infuse even more. Well, we want a good mature ice cream. Exactly. Like so, a good wine. Like I guess our wine. ice cream will be a little bit immature. That's fine. Because we're going to make it tomorrow, and then we're serving it the next day. Making an ice cream from conception to actual product is actually quite a process and for that to be completed in one day would be quite a challenge. It is possible, but it's kind of hard. <laughs> I've never made ice cream before. I've watched a ton of tasty videos about how to make ice cream and I always tell myself this summer is the summer I'm making ice cream and then I never do it. So today is a big day for me. Coming to Jesus moment. It is. It's a big Jesus moment for everyone. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully I gave you all the tools and tips you need to make your own ice cream. I'm a little nervous, Don't but be. at the end of the day, it's all sweet. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Best of luck, guys. Let's go. Okay, great. It is day two on Jen and Devin's magical ice cream adventure. Right now, it's time for me to actually just lay out my recipe and then get to work on heating up my base. This is my custard base that I got from Adrian, and then this is a Lipton iced tea. So I have Adrian's eggless base here. I have the sugar that I'm going to add to my recipe, and then I also have a little bit of chopped pistachios and some chopped chocolates. It's mostly chopped pistachios. The chocolate is there just for like, maybe like a aftertaste of chocolate, if you will. Disclaimer, I just wanna say like, I've been saying ricotta cheese because I don't know, I'm American and I pronounce things wrong. I'm sure that Italians say it differently, um, but you know, everybody just chill. Let's get to it, boys. There's exactly three quarts in here. I'm gonna pour it down so it's got one quart left because I'm gonna use two quarts. There you go. Mm -hmm. On those, that's one quart. Exactly. This is my base. Unlike Devin, because I have a lot more solid ingredients, I'm only going to use about a quart of the base. The rest of my uh, material will be made up with my actual uh, cheese. This is a little bit of less liquid than Devin used. I'm gonna use Adrian's method of heating it up in a microwave because of science. And I have to keep it heated to 185 degrees. Once it's heated to 185 degrees, I'm going to then steep my tea bags and then put my sugar in and I'm just gonna let it chill. All right, so I'm gonna microwave this bad boy. So let's start with a minute. So yeah, when this is done, we'll just check the temperature and if it's hot enough, we can add the other ingredients. I'm excited that I don't have to worry about it exploding or burning in the microwave. Nice song. All right, so I'm gonna stir it up and then I'm gonna measure it. We're tapping out at 140, so not hot enough. Freddie, you ready for some sweet tea ice cream? Sweet tea what? ice cream. Mm -hmm. yes. That's what I'm making. Thank you. Let's see if we've hit the magic number, 185 degrees. 183, 184, 185, woo! Okay, no one in the canteen cares. <laughs> they don't care. No one cares. No one cares. I'm gonna add the sugar and the pistachios. The sugar I'm adding now, especially so that it can dissolve chocolate and the pistachios. This is all the ricotta cheese. A little bit of cream cheese. I was only able to add 13% solids because my entire thing shouldn't be more than 42% solids. I know that I'm not supposed to add too many solids to this, but the math honestly was very confusing for me. Why did she have to bring math into it? It's a lot lumpier than I imagined it would be, but the heat from the base is breaking up the cheese, so it's slowly but surely losing its lumps. So Devin's adding the tea right now. We're also uh, gonna let that seep. We're still competing. This is still a competition. I know that I'm helping Devin right now, but it's still a competition because she made this recipe. All right, sugar. Sugar. Let's mix it up. So I think I'm gonna let this seep for a few minutes, maybe like even a half hour, because I really wanna get that tea taste and because the custard has a lot of sugar to offset any like bitterness. Once I'm done mixing this and I've got out most of the lumps, I am gonna cover it up, let it cool, and then put it in the fridge. After it's been in the fridge for a couple hours, then we can churn it. So I'm gonna let my ice cream mixture cool in the fridge for about an hour, hour and a half. Devin's is already in there. When both ice creams have been chilled for about an hour, we're gonna take them out, we're gonna churn them for about two hours, and when that's done, we're gonna freeze them overnight, and by tomorrow, we should have some delicious ice cream. So it's churning time, Devin. Yeah. Devin's 
Devin, what's happening right now? It's the next morning. Okay, I've got my mixture. I'm gonna put it in the churner. Jen and I got in first thing in the morning and we're handling our ice cream. We're not wasting a second. It's ice cream time. I'm going to use the Cuisinart ice cream maker and I'm gonna churn it and then I'm gonna freeze the rest of the stuff and then hopefully I'll have ice cream and not some kind of like rat poisoning concoction. Pour it in slowly and then try and leave like about like a couple inches from the top because it'll thicken up. Churn, baby, churn, churn. I'm so glad modern technology has invented a churner because otherwise we'd have to do this with like rock salt in our bicep muscle. Oh my God, Jen, it tastes just like sweet tea. Really? Yeah, it tastes just like, like the bowl. to try. It's a lot softer than I thought it would be. Texture looks good. Can't really smell it, but. Mmm. Tastes like a tall glass of iced tea. Oh yeah. That's pretty cool. That's what we were going for. That's what we were going for. Okay. Yeah. Next. Okay. Are you scared? No, I'm super prepared. I feel very confident all the time. Tastes like a brown butter pistachio ice cream. Mm. There is a lot of pistachio in there. I've never had ricotta pie, so I don't know oh, okay. <laughs> if this is what ricotta pie tastes like, mm -hmm. but this tastes like a delicious brown butter pistachio ice cream. Wow, okay. That's, pre that's a pretty, that's a decent mark. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you for inviting me for some ice cream. No one ever makes me ice cream. Oh. <laughs> It was a pleasure to make you ice cream. Now that you've spoken, I think it's only fair that we open the room up to our colleagues. Well, thanks, Adrian. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We are open for business. Come on, Come on in. in. Come on in. Hello, customers. Yes! Lena and Kate, and Lena and Kate. Ice cream! Come on in! Come on in, customer, stand right here. It'll be a little bit of a tight squeeze. I wanna live here. Welcome to our shops. Oh my god. And enjoy some ice cream. It's a lot, a lot. Try Devin's first and then say, try Devin's at the same time, yeah. At the same time? No, 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 no. wait, you guys, <laughs> each of you try Devin's first. Oh, okay. Wait. <laughs> This is sweet tea ice cream. Uh -huh. Reminiscent mm -hmm. of being in the south and Georgia. I got some on my nose. You look super cute. You're in the country. Okay. It's a safe like, country, I promise. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it, it, it's warm, the, the birds are out, and somebody comes up and gives you a glass of ice sweet tea. And then you sip it, and that's when you eat it. Mm. Pretty good. It literally tastes like sweet tea. Thank you. Oh my God. It tastes like Atlanta, Georgia. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. 
You're from the South, right? Yeah. Yep, you know. Yeah, yeah. You get it. I'm surprised we were able to get the tea flavor in there. Ooh, that's good. Thank you. Oh, how would you describe it? Like sweet tea. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, it tastes like sweet tea. I'm definitely getting that vibe. You nailed it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. It's got that tea and that milky flavor. Mm -hmm. It does taste like boba. I have really tasty tea. Thank wow. you. Yeah. yeah, and this is ricotta cheese ice cream, so take a bite. <laughs> what do you think? Try it. <laughs> it's actually really good. Really? This is yeah. very good. This is excellent, Jen. Thank you. It's like savory sweet, which I'm also fan of. very yeah. much a fan of. Are, Are these chunks? Uh, pistachio, yeah. I like the chunkier. Thank you. You pronounce it ricotta? Uh, you know, for Italian, Italian Americans typically do. No, ricotta. Ricotta. Ricotta pie. A little bit of ricotta pie. Thank you. It's like like a little trip in Italy. The Italian summer vibes. That's what wow. I was going for. Mm. <laughs> it's like a lot thicker than I thought. I think it's because of the ricotta, but it's like really um really nutty and like really creamy. Have you ever had ricotta pie? No, I'm not. Oh. Is it still on my nose? It's a little bit, it's fine. <laughs> this is really, this is very, there's a lot of pressure here. <laughs> Which one do you like better? Bye, Kristen, thanks for coming. Bye. So Cheers, Jen. Cheers, Devin. To a marvelous job. A marvelous job of ice cream. Mm -hmm. I love your ice cream, it's so good. I love yours too. Uh -huh. How was this whole experience for you? Surprisingly easy. Mm -hmm. I guess I really think it's Adrian and the good folks at Wanderlust who kind of made it very comprehensive for us. Mm -hmm. I'm really opened my eyes to seeing how adventurous ice cream could be. I think I would like to make ice cream again. This experience was fun enough that I'd want to experiment more with different flavors and see what I could come up with. Oh my god. I think people really seem to respond well to our ice creams. The people that tasted it was really positive. But I actually tallied all of these. Oh no. And um, Devin. Yes. Everyone, congratulations, <gasps> my friend. Sweet tea ice cream was the winner. It was everybody's favorite ice cream. So have, you won. Have I won a scholarship to ice cream college? Yes, <laughs> you're going. Honestly, the real winner here is sweet tea. Mm -hmm. You know what? I loved your ice cream because I haven't had ricotta pie in a long time. Thank you to Adrian. Thank you to everybody at Wanderlust Creamery for helping us out. Thank you to our colleagues for being mm -hmm. so generous with their time and mouths. Make it our own ice cream flavors. Lady tested. Lady tasted.